What's good? It's been a while since I did a what I eat in a day video, and since I'm trying to get back to eating healthy again, I figured I'd document it. Because for these past couple of months, I have been eating a lot of food that's probably not the best for you. Thank you Aura Organic for sponsoring this video, and let's get started. So for breakfast, I made my signature green smoothie. Y'all, I have perfected this recipe over the past couple of weeks, so I'm very excited to share it with you today. I'm going to start off with two cups of oat milk. You can use whatever milk you like. And I like putting the liquid first because it's easier to blend everything together. And then I am putting roughly one and a half to two frozen bananas. It's very important that your bananas are ripe before you freeze them because bananas are at their sweetest when they're ripe. So you don't need any added sugar for this recipe, which is great. Love that. I love a no added sugar, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm adding about two cups of spinach, tightly packed. Now I have been making this recipe for a very long time, so I can eyeball the measurements, but I promise you this is around two cups of spinach. <laughs> Then I'm adding about a half cup of frozen mango. Next, I'm going to add this vegan collagen boosting powder by Aura Organic. It's a powder that contains aloe vera, pea protein, vitamin C, and vitamin E. This is really beneficial for collagen production and vitamin C, as we all know, is really great support for your immune system. So I just take two scoops of this powder and add it to the blender. This collagen booster supports the creation of strong collagen and personally I find that it helps to support um, like more hydrated and firm skin. And this next step is crucial, one tablespoon of coconut oil. I've tried this smoothie recipe without coconut oil and it is just not as smooth or creamy. Also, that oily like coconut taste really balances out that slight bitterness from the bananas and the healthy fats really help to balance out the carbs. So don't leave this step out, trust me. And then I blend it all together for about 45 seconds to a minute. And would you look at that? It's so creamy. This recipe makes two servings, so you can either drink them both yourself or you can give one to your significant other, your mom, your brother. Does he deserve it? I don't know. Now for lunch, I'm gonna make this like macro bowl, if that's what you wanna call it. And instead of meal prepping individual meals, I like to meal prep ingredients and then just throw them together to create a meal. And this is a super easy lunch. This is like the healthiest, easiest lunch you could ever make. I add some quinoa. I also use white rice, but I really wanted to get some extra protein and fiber today. So I have these mashed sweet potatoes that are delicious. I love sweet potatoes. And all I did was cook them in the oven and then mash them up and then stored them. And then I just reheat them in the microwave. Bok choy is my favorite type of greens because they're kind of like coniferous but they're also a little juicy and um, I just steam that and add a little salt. It is not that serious. I love the taste of bok choy so I don't really do that much to it. I also meal prep salmon fillets. Literally I just season this with like this seasoning that I my brother's girlfriend gave to me um, and then I air fry it. Like literally all of this is so easy. Um, but since I already cooked it, I'm just going to reheat it in the air fryer for like four minutes or so. I love my air fryer. If you don't have one, you you know, you're sleeping. You know what I'm saying? You sleep. And then just to add a little bit of freshness, I'm going to squeeze a lemon slice over all of it. Et voila! 
Not only is this delicious and like very nutritious, but it's also like really colorful and pretty. I don't know. I like eating food that's like very colorful and it just feels healthier. <laughs> Okay, so for dinner, I didn't really feel like eating a full meal, so I decided to eat two snacks instead. So the first snack that I made was this peanut butter banana ice cream with crushed butterfingers on top. So I start by filling up the blender cup with frozen bananas about, I want to say like halfway full. Again, it's really important that these bananas are ripe before you freeze them because that's how you're going to get that creamy texture. I like adding a little bit of oat milk to kind of get things moving around and then I start blending. Now you're gonna have to be patient here, especially if you're using like a Nutribullet and you may need to scrape down the sides in between blending just to make sure that you're blending everything properly. Then I'm adding that same aloe gorgeous powder by Aura Organic, but this is the peanut butter flavor. So that's gonna give our quote unquote ice cream its peanut butter flavor. Now, if I were to make this again, I would probably add a little bit of salt to bring out that, that nutty flavor a little bit more, but it was still delicious. Next, I'm going to take a few pieces of Butterfingers and smash it in a Ziploc bag and then just sprinkle it on top of the ice cream. Now, I call this a snack, but honestly, this is like a full meal because I used so many bananas and bananas are really high in calories. So this was very, very filling. And then right after I finished that peanut butter banana ice cream, I cut one apple and had a spoonful of peanut butter on the side. I don't know, I guess I was craving peanut butter this day for some reason. Um, and then I sprinkled the apples with pumpkin spice cinnamon. Now, I know it's spring already, but like, I don't know. I like pumpkin spice, especially on apples. I'm an intuitive eater, so I eat when I'm hungry and I don't eat if I'm not. I try not to make eating a big deal, like at the end of the day, it's all about fueling your body anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you Aura Organic for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to live an intentional, beautiful, and joyful life. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!